Hey everyone, thank you for watching today's video. I'm excited to do. I am back with a new declutter. I only have two more declutters left. We have the lip liner declutter. Next week is going to be my final, final finale in my declutter series that I've been doing for a very long time. And that is going to be my bullet lipsticks. So today we have my lip liners and I think I have around 60 here, which is ridiculous. <laughs> I do not need this many lip liners. I'm embarrassed. Um, I know some of these have never even been opened. I think I saw one in here that doesn't even have a cap anymore. Like, what is wrong with me? This, we need, we need to do some work on this because your girl does not need to keep 60 lip liners, especially because I have, like, maybe five or six that I just constantly rotate between. So this, I feel like, is gonna be a pretty savage declutter once again. I don't know if I'll swatch everything, um, but I will try to swatch as much as I can to give you an idea, but I think I have like some duplicates in here. Again, some that aren't even opened, <laughs> like. Uh, okay, let's just go ahead. Let's just jump into it. So, um, all right, so I had been dividing things up by brand. I think I'll go ahead and do that again just to help give me like somewhat of a starting point and I know that I have a lot of repeat brands in here so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick and uh yeah let's do it. So we have quite a few different piles in here. There's the Ofra, Charlotte Tilbury, CoverGirl, ColourPop, there's Il Maquillage, we have a bunch of MAC, Christian Odette, NYX, and a bunch of singles as well. So I feel like this is a good starting point to hop into it. Starting off, I have this one from Pat McGrath. This is one of my newer lip liners. This is in the shade Contour. Picked it up recently from Sephora. It was a Kathleen Lights recommendation. I think that it's beautiful. I love this nude brown. It's a little bit darker on me, but I still really, really like it. And I've been insanely happy with this one. I just featured it recently in my Makeup Monthly in my favorite section and still a big fan. So definitely going to keep my Pat McGrath. Next up here I have from um, the Estee Edit. This was by Estee Lauder. They were here and then they were gone. It was strange and fast and then it was over, but um, this is the Barest Contour Lip Liner. And I am i don't really know what happened to the Estee Edit, but I remember liking this lip liner so much. Look at that color. I thought it was so beautiful. I really liked the lip liner. It was nice and creamy, um, but I haven't reached for this in a really long time and the brand's no longer around. So I am going to declutter that one. Next up I have this one and it took me a hot second as I was doing my organizing. I was like, what is this even from? But this is from Maybelline and this is in the shade Wine. Um, I have not pulled out this lip liner, oh gosh, in a really long time. Oh gosh, you really gotta press hard for that one. Um, okay, so I wear nudes a lot. If you are new to my channel, like hello, my name is Samantha. I love nude lips, I wear them the most, but you know, you, especially for lip liners, I'm not going to only keep nudes. I know that, but especially like this pencil is so dry. I don't, I'm, it, that's, that's going to be a no. So I'm going to declare that one from Maybelline. Don't even really remember having that one in my collection. So yikes. Uh, this one here, this is from Morphe and this is in the shade of vinyl. So there's a swatch of it there. Um, didn't mind it. it. They came out with kind of a darker liquid lipstick at that time too, which I believe has been decluttered. Uh, but I am also going to declutter this one, not a color I reach for very often. I have this one from Bite Beauty. This is in the shade 020. I know that I've had this in a, watch, I'm going to like swatch everything. Okay, maybe when we get to my bigger collections I won't, but you know, swatch Swatches are helpful, and I feel like a lot of you appreciate swatches. Okay, anyways, this is a really, really nice nude. For these lip liners from Bite Beauty, I remember every time trying to link it, and I could not find this shade. I think for a while I couldn't even find the lip liners. I know Bite Beauty has been doing a bunch of reformulating. I don't know if their lip liners got that too. Uh, so er, I'm looking at this one because I do think that it's a pretty lip liner, but again, I just know that I have a bunch of my favorites when it comes to lip liners and I don't really reach for this one from Bite a whole ton so I'm actually going to declutter that one. Okay I have this one here from Kylie Cosmetics. Okay so this one is in Candy K I'm pretty sure. Are you in Candy K? Yes. So this is in Candy K. Oof. 
so that one definitely needs to be sharpened this one there is a candy k i purchased it when kylie cosmetics was like first coming out i purchased this and the liquid lipstick and to the side it's it's definitely been a hot second since i've reached for this one but i have a video in mind that I might do in the future which is making me want to hold on to this and I'm pretty sure this is my only Kylie product so sometimes I keep things if I have videos on deck and I need something for it um, and I think that's what I'm gonna do in this case next up here I have this one from Patrick Ta the precision lip crayon and I bought the, sh the shade she's proud okay so this packaging is like very luxe but you like click it at the end to get it to go up but then you can't click it back down um and people have told me you can and i haven't figured out how you do that so if that's a thing tell me how you do that because i tried and it didn't happen for me so this is the swatch here i like this lip liner i didn't fall like head over heels with it um i don't know kind of like the shape of it isn't really my favorite uh, do like the shade and the packaging is really nice i'm gonna go ahead and keep it it's not brand new in my collection but a lot of times i like to keep around things that are a little bit newer to me because then again i can find ways to incorporate them into videos also so i'm gonna keep this one around just not a total favorite all right next up i see oh this is another one from bite beauty actually i didn't realize i had two of them this is in 044 and so i think this one is quite a bit darker yeah I reach for this type of color real often and bright beauty didn't have my favorite lip pencils so i'm going to declare this one this one still has the plastic on it has never been used this is from ardell uh this is their no slip liquid lip liner um i don't think i ever even used one of these but since it's never been opened i can pass it on to someone so i'm gonna put that one in my pass pile yikes so i have this one from huda beauty this is one of the lip contours and this is in the shade trendsetter i do like that shade some of my liquid lips from huda beauty i wore wifey the other day and it was absolutely beautiful and actually this might have paired nicely with wifey it's a little bit more brown but it's still nude uh so i am going to keep this one around i used to buy a bunch of these sets and i know that this is where the lip liner came from it was like two mini liquid lips and then a full-size lip liner uh next up i see this one from buxom this is one of the plump line lip liners and this is in undercover so it's kind of interesting because you have like this brush on one side and then you have a really large crayon on the other um just not a favorite for me though the shade is nice it's a little bit dark but it's pretty but i just really don't go for this very often you know definitely with lip liners you can i like them because you can use them as lip liners you can fill in your lips you can fill them in all the way and use it as lipstick you know and that's all great and i know a lot of people say that's what you do with these liners since they are larger it's kind of hard to just align your lips with them but i just never I don't know i just never gravitated towards them very much so i've kept this one shade around but i am going to go ahead and declutter that one from buxom see this red one this is from jordana this is their easy liner in sedona red so i bought this because so many people were saying that jordana has like amazing lip liners and i was i remember like looking for a red at the time because i didn't have any red lip liners but i was slowly like starting to wear red lips not a lot but like a little bit more so i wanted to do a really affordable red lip liners since i knew that i wasn't going to be reaching for it very often i like this one it's not like my favorite shade of red though and i've had it for a really really long time like i bought this at the beginning of my channel type thing so i've had it for a while I don't wear red as much i know i have a few other ones that i'm going to keep around so i'm going to declutter the jordana i have this one from kkw beauty this is in the shade zero i just mentioned this one in my latest makeup monthly and i kind of roast it myself there for a while i mean you can see that it is like the palest out of everything that i have swatched so far i first bought the shade five from alta and i thought it was way too dark so then i went back in store obviously this is a while ago but i went in store i even swatched this and i decided to buy zero and when i actually put it on my lips it is way too light kind of matches my nail polish it is way too light i can't even wear it as a lipstick like it just is it's it it just doesn't work out for me so 
<laughs> I want to get a different shade and one that works for me because I think that I would like these lip liners, but I just need to find the right shade. So I'm going to keep it around because maybe I'll be able to exchange it for a different shade once we can go into Ulta Beauty. Moving along, I see two here from Pure, and this one here is the see-through one. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, like this is just clear, obviously. I think this is for like to prevent lipstick from bleeding, which is cool and I like the idea, but I'm not going to lie, I really like never use this. Like I tried it a couple times when I first got it just to see, and I think I remember it working. I just feel like if I'm reaching for a lip liner, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, I want an actual lip liner, so... I am going to declutter this one. And then the other one that I have, I really don't see anything on here. Like there's no nothing. There's no shade. There's no name. There's no anything. So this is what the lip liner looks like. Um, it's a really nice color. It doesn't feel super creamy as I swatch it. And I don't know. I just, I guess I don't really know what this is. So I'm actually going to also declutter this one from Pierre. Okay, next up I have two here from NYX. I was a really big fan of this one in Nude Beige, if you can see from how, like, small it is. I was definitely a fan, like, look at that. That's just, that's just real pretty. I feel like my NYX lip liners kind of got dethroned by my ColourPop because I started to buy a lot of ColourPop liners. So I was trying to decide if I still wanted to keep this one around, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it. Like I said, I, I really rotate through the same lip liners over and over again, um, so I really wanted to cut this down because I had a full acrylic organizer, um, like the one full drawer was just full of lip liners, and I was like, all right, that's not really necessary, okay? And then this one here from NYX, this is in the shade Current. Clearly, I went through a phase at one point in life of like wanting to buy these darker lip liners. Don't really think I need to keep around a bunch of these colors. I have some darker ones that I see from some of my more like much loved lip liner formulas. So going to declutter that one from NYX. I have two here from Christian Odette. So this was a collaboration that my beautiful friend Mel Thompson did with the brand. So the first one that I have is Kitten. And this one is a really light pink nude lip liner. It's a little bit light for me, but if I pair it with the lipstick in Beauty, that came out with the collection I think that it looks really pretty and then the other one is in smooches yes smooches um, and this one I think is really really nice too so that one you have more of a deeper brown but I think that these two are so pretty um, and I just you know of course I'm so proud of Mel and her collaboration I think that's so cool so definitely keeping both of these I have three here from Il Maquillage I feel like this is where we're gonna start to need to hold on to our hats okay I tried to do the best I could through those uh, little declutters there but obviously if I have multiples from certain brands that means that I really really like them but this was the collaboration with Carly Bible and Il Maquillage and I was a really big fan of that whole collection so this one this lip liner is in Bible and this one is the more pinky is more of your nude brown and that one is in Luna and then we also have the red and this one is in the shade Ablaze I go for this red a lot when I'm reaching for a red lip liner because that one's just like that's just nice I do really like the formula and I'm also a really big fan of Carly Bible so I was very excited to receive this collection so I will be hanging on to these three I have my lip liners from Charlotte Tilbury I'm a huge fan of the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners the first one that I ever bought was in iconic nude and this continues to remain one of my favorite lip liners I love the shade I'm a really big fan of the formula these stay on for such a long time like I know I'm gonna have a hard time removing the swatches in here I love iconic nude just I mean it really is just like an iconic nude shade one of my favorite lip liners, just hands down. I'm such a fan of the formula. I do have a little mini of Pillow Talk. And this one is more of your pinky nude. And then I also do have Pillow Talk 2 or Pillow Talk Medium. So this is just a little bit darker than the original Pillow Talk. And I really, really like this shade. Honestly, I think I like Iconic Nude and then Pillow Talk 2 and then Pillow Talk. 
Pillow Talk 2 I just think is so pretty and I mentioned it in my last month's makeup monthly in my favorite section and I said that I love to pair this lip liner with my Millie gloss that I did in collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics on top and it just makes such a pretty pair. So huge fan of my Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. Honestly, I want I like I want even more shades from from these because I think that they're fantastic. Uh, so definitely keeping all three of those. All right, let's move over to these ones from CoverGirl because, like, what the heck, Samantha? What's going, like, what, what's happening here, girl? That out of these CoverGirl lip liners, I only have one open. All the rest of these are still in their packaging. And all the rest of these are, like, these are shades that I am going to use. So I'm going to keep these around and open them as I need be. And look at that. Would you just look at that? Just look at that. So this is highly embarrassing. Um, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lip liners here. Um, I, I will be passing these along to people because that's embarrassing. Um, yeah, if I haven't even opened them and I've had them for a while, that's embarrassing. I did get them sent to me from a cover girl. So like, please don't think I just went out and bought all of them myself and then never used them. But I passed along a bunch in a giveaway and those are the ones I picked out for myself and then that happened, so that's embarrassing. But the one that I actually did open, this is the Exhibitionist Lip Liner. The one that I did open was in Caramel Nude, and this is what the lip liner looks like. And I thought that this one was nice, but I'm not a fan. Like, I clearly didn't do a great job picking out my shade because this is, like, I don't know if you can see it on camera because I feel like on camera it's coming across as just, like, a brown nude, but it does pull orange. And I don't really like uh, lips with orange undertones on me. Like, can you kind of see it there? Um, it's just not, I just don't think it looks flattering on my lips. So I very rarely reach for this one because of the shade. In my ones from ColourPop, I'm a really big fan of the ColourPop lip liners. Honestly, there's not a lot of lip products from ColourPop that I'm like die hard for anymore. I much more gravitate towards their eyeshadows, towards their face products like bronzers, blushes, um, highlights, all of that, but their lip liners are a standout to me, and these are super affordable. They're like five or six dollars. I've bought all of my ColourPop lip liners myself, and I'm a big fan. So the smallest, teeniest one in my collection, you guys might know that this is Oh Snap. I am trying to finish off Oh Snap, and I'm doing obvious, like I'm just, I'm doing a great job, like. Um, and I love the shade. I'm going to be sad when I go through it. I'll probably purchase another one because Oh Snap is just beautiful. A lot of times I'll wear this all over my lips. I'll, I'll line my lips and then I'll just fill it in with Oh Snap because it's that my lips but better lip color. And I think that it's beautiful. So definitely love Oh Snap. Another pretty teeny one. This I grabbed out of my Shop My Stash bag. This is in Beeper. So raise your hand or, you know, hit the like button, whatever you would like to do. If you had the original Beeper liquid lip from ColourPop, because I definitely did. And I loved it. It was like that 90s nude and it was gorgeous. Well, I also got the lip liner and I love the lip liner. I think that it's fantastic. Big fan of Beeper also. And I've been getting a lot of use out of it especially with it being in my shop my sash bag and I'm you know trying to get some more focus on it so definitely keeping beeper Next up, I do have Lumiere this was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights I have purchased I think like all of her lip collaborations uh, which is fun I like this because it's like a pinky mauve but it's a little bit darker and I think that it's a really cool color so let me see is this Lumiere or Lumiere 2 no this is just Lumiere um, really beautiful shade really like that one also so gonna keep that one. I'm keeping all of my ones from ColourPop, just so you know. Just like spoiler alert, I only have two left, but I'm keeping them. So I bought pretty recently. This one is in BFF, and this one is a little bit paler. It's not my absolute favorite kind of like undertone. It's not too orange, but I, it's just it's not a 100% favorite, but I'm still gonna keep it around because I really like the ColourPop formula. I know I'll get some uses out of it. What I grabbed was in Little One, and this one has more of like that nude pink feel to it. So I was trying to see if there's anything really similar on my hand from this one. But um, maybe like somewhat of O Snap, but O Snap is more pink. And this one I think is a little bit more nude. But definitely want to keep, you know, I only, 
I only have five from ColourPop, so I will be keeping these in my collection. Almost finished, I just have Ofra and MAC left to go. Starting first on all of my Ofra lip liners. I really do like the Ofra lip liners also. I only have one in here that still has the plastic on it. I'm like, Samantha, what are we doing? This is the shade Plum. I don't think I have Plum in my collection here so i don't know why i have a double of this one but since it hasn't been used i am going to put it in my past pile because i can i can give it to someone else i've already kept a lot of lip liners we're going to keep some more here okay so one of my favorites i don't know if you'd be able to tell if i like line them all up but one is definitely smaller than the others is a spicy from ofra i've mentioned this one quite a bit i'm just such a fan of this color like Hi. So spicy has been a favorite of mine, so definitely going to keep that one. So we also have the shade Wine, sorry my autofocus is like not having it right now. I think it's like oh, so over my declutters. Um, but this is a Wine. Uh, I'm also, I'm going to keep around this shade. It's a little bit deeper, obviously more of like a wine color. And I know I decluttered quite a few of them. We also have the shade Mauve. This one to me isn't like super mauve. It's a little bit more nude than anything but I really do like that shade and I wear it quite a bit. I go back and forth a lot between spicy and mauve. This one we have is chestnut. Now this is definitely a deeper brown so I don't like I, I don't wear these types of shades often but if I am going to go for like a chocolate brown lipstick it would be nice to have a lip liner to go with it. I realize the same thing about reds so I am going to keep around chestnut. I also realize I have another spicy in my collection. I think that I'm probably pretty good on the one that I have like it'll take me a while to get through it so I'm going to put my double in the past pile. The red this is in Maya. Again I do like to keep around a couple reds and since I really like this formula I'm also going to keep around Maya. The shade that I have is Silk. This one is a really light pink and I know, I know that this one is almost a little bit too light for me. I've also had it, this probably is one that I've had the longest. I think I got it in like um, like some sort of a subscription box at some point. So I've actually had this one for a really long time. So I am going to declutter that one. And lastly, I just have the shade Pink here. So again, this one is pretty light also. Um, I wouldn't reach for this particular shade quite a bit. Like I would go more for a nude or a darker nude. So I'm also going to declutter pink. This means we have my MAC lip liners to go here. So most of these I have received in PR. I used to get a lot of PR from MAC. Um, and yeah, but I have bought, I know that I've bought Whirl in my collection for sure. That I think I have a double of it now. Um, but you know, I see this one that doesn't even have a cap anymore. And I have no idea why I was thinking this would be a good idea. This was a collaboration with Patrick Starr and this is in Mahogany. I don't know if the pencil would have like dried out a lot. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't look too bad. Um, so it's kind of a deeper, I don't know, it's kind of like a deeper brown, but it has like a hint of red in it. Not a bad shade, but one that I don't reach for often, so I'm going to declutter this one. I do like the MAC lip liners quite a bit, so one of the first ones that I bought myself and one of my first purchases from MAC in general was the Whirl lip liner. A lot of people talked about this shade, and I do think that it's beautiful. It's definitely one of my, like one of my most worn lip liners is this one here in Whirl. I think that it's beautiful, so I'm I'm definitely going to keep that one. Next up we have Boldly Bare, which obviously by the name, it's just a really nice nude. I like this one a lot. Also from MAC, I do reach for Boldly Bare quite often, so I'm going to keep that one. This one here is Chicory, if I'm saying that correctly. This one almost has a little bit more of a terracotta look to it. I'm like waffling on this one. I'm going to hold it for right now just to get through some of these other ones and see what I think, but I'm really liking that one. This one is in edge to edge, and this is like, it's actually kind of like a brighter pink, not a shade that I wear very often, so I'm going to declutter that one. Another one here that was in collaboration with Patrick Starr, this is in Brick. So I believe that this is a shade um, that you can still get in MAC. They just collabed and did like spe special packaging and a collection together. So that one is in Brick. And let me see, I think I have, yeah, so I have two of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep the one that was in collaboration with Patrick Starr because that's kind of fun. I met him at the American Influencer Awards. He was really nice to me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. And then I am going to declutter um, my other brick. I have the shade Soar. I believe I bought this one also because I think it was Katie that Luster Lux that would always talk about this one. Um, it's 
not too similar to world like sometimes I think these two are kind of similar soar is definitely a little bit of a I don't know it's more pink a little bit deeper I, I, I like I really like them both I think soar and whirl are probably my two favorites from Mac so I'm gonna keep that one also also have chestnut from Mac so I kept chestnut from Ofra and I don't feel like I need to keep a lot of the brown liners and I would go with Ofra over Mac so I'm going to declutter that one um, I do also oh man I have another whirl in here too ah okay so honestly whirl is just it's one of my favorite lip liners it really is I know I shouldn't keep a double because it's like do I really need to but I I really like I want to I know I got one in PR and I purchased one so um I just it's just gonna have to happen I know that might seem silly but it has to happen Next up we have kind of more of this purpley shade here this is in vino um I don't feel like I wear this color often so I don't think that this one needs to stay in my collection but we have plum I don't know this one was like kind of hard to swatch color is fine but again um i think that i can go ahead and declutter this one the last one that i have is another collaboration with patrick star and this one is actually in edge to edge which i already did declutter so i am going to declutter this one also i think i could pass this on to someone since i really barely wore that one so just coming back to the chakori that i wasn't sure about you know i feel like i did declutter quite a bit from mac so i'm going to keep this one i do really like terracotta um i think that it's a pretty color so i don't have a lot of lip liners in this particular shade so so I am going to keep it. So that is everything. Let me pull everything out and we will see how I did. These are my final piles here in my keep pile. I'm keeping 29 lip liners. That's plenty. And then in my past pile, I'm decluttering a 31. Would you look at that? Woo! All right. I hope that you guys enjoyed this declutter and found all. I think I did end up swatching everything, didn't I? I always say in the beginning that I'm not sure I'm going to swatch everything, and then I do it anyways. But I hope that you enjoyed the swatches and seeing what some of my favorite lip liner formulas are. Uh, again, lip liners is not one that I usually include in my declutters, but then this is why this happened so i really wanted to include it since i'm doing everything in my declutter series and i hope that you enjoyed it next week is going to be the finale all of my bullet lipsticks cream lipsticks satin lipsticks it is going to be on like donkey kong next week so i will see you back next week for that final declutter i hope that you guys enjoyed this one though if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in my next video bye